Hey there, welcome to the Hangout Climbing Center. I'm Dave, climber, setter, coach, and in one of our previous videos, we talked about how to send your project by using a concept called low pointing, where you do the last third of the climb first and then work your way gradually back down to the beginning. Now, Sean, longtime fan of the show, wrote in the questions, what happens if you can't do the finishing third of the climb? How do you get to the top then? Now, a lot of this comes down to fear, as Sean mentioned, and he referenced a previous concept we've talked about called desensitizing yourself to impact. And you can watch a whole video about it by clicking up here, where Celine gets to the top of her long-time project by setting up a series of more and more intense falls. It's a really good video. But in this video, we want to talk about a top secret, never fail tactic that will help you get your most difficult moves no matter where they are on the climb. Stay tuned and find out, it's gonna be a good one. All right, so now I'm in position I need to be. I'm kind of bunched up, it's not very comfortable, and it's really hard to feel confident. And so when I try to go for this move, it's hard to get it the first time. I find I need to warm up with smaller moves so that I can make it perfect and get the right trajectory. In this case, I'm going to try again, but I'm going to have my right hand on this orange pocket, like I mentioned earlier. This allows me to get my hips higher and keep my shoulders close to the wall. Now I'm able to stick this move. And now that I know that I can get the move, I can move lower and try again. Every time I make this move, I get more confident. And so I'm pretty certain now I'll be able to do it again from this jug. And I'm going to do it try to do it smoothly with a little bit of flair. Now it's very important to never move my left hand, always have it on the hold that I'm going to throw from in the actual climb. And that way I know that I can stick the finishing position. Great. Now, I'm gonna rest a minute so that my fingers don't pop out is a very difficult pocket and then we're going to go do the whole move from the beginning all right so I've rested for about a minute my fingers are, are good enough that I can do this move and we'll see if <clears throat> with all of this confidence I can get myself in position the actual hardest and scariest move for me of course is the finishing move I'm not a big fan of falling from 15 feet up if I don't have to. Now, this is the last hold from which I get to pull. And if I'm not really feeling confident, that's a long way to jump my hand about three feet to the top. So what I like to do if I'm not feeling extra confident is to use one of these intermediary holds and practice the last move until finally, like before, I'm confident enough to go to the top. This isn't actually the hardest move, but it's the scariest move. So I need a little bit of mental warm up. It's going to look something like this. I'm gonna crawl down, use this hold because that's the last hold I get to use with my left hand, set my feet up where I want them to be, but then sort of bump myself up into position until I feel confident that I can do the last move. And once I know that I can stick the last move, I might move down to this next big hold and do it again. And finally, if I have enough energy, try it from the full move. And because I've stuck the move twice from halfway, I know I can grip the finish. I know I'm not likely to fall. And it gives me a lot more freedom to give my very best. And if you can get out of your own way and prevent yourself from thinking that you're cheating or that somehow you're not really following the climb and you can practice this, this will allow you to get to the top. Hey, I'm pretty tired from shooting that last video. But if you want some more tips, Check out this one over here, or maybe this one down here. Be sure to give you lots of good ideas so I can see you at the top. Cheers.